my father did farming and when I was very small, brought his milk down to his mother's. And that's the house on School Street? Yeah, and she had a, a building that was called the Milk House and she sold the milk. She had two rooms in the milk house and she used to set it out there and in big pans and then skim the cream off. And then would people come by with their own containers and yeah. buy milk? Mm -hmm. Like a little storefront. Mm -hmm. It was her husband who had been the whaling captain. Yeah. So she was quite a businesswoman then, wasn't she? Well, she had to be. As all sea captains' wives, he left word with the storekeepers that he would be responsible for her bills while he was gone. But she didn't want anybody responsible for her bills. She wanted to pay her own. So she did different things and made cookies and sold them to the school kids. And she lived right across from the school. And she earned enough money to take care of herself so that when he came home, he didn't owe a bill anywhere. So instead of paying all the bills that he thought he was going to pay, he'd been gone four years and thought he'd have all these bills to pay, he uh, gave her the money. And did a lot of other whaling captains' wives do the same thing? Yes. But a lot of whaling wives went with their husbands, and they went down around Cape Horn and, and went up to Hawaii and stayed in Hawaii while their husbands went north for the winter. I had an aunt who did that, Aunt Lucy. She was four years at sea, and her little boy was four years old when they left New Bedford. She was the captain's wife, and she made a home for her husband and the little boy. She sailed out of New Bedford and went across to the Azores and down along the coast of uh, Africa and then across to Robinson Crusoe's cave in, in uh, South America and down around Cape Horn and up on the other side of Cape Horn and went to the consulate house in Chile and then up to Hawaii and she carried her organ with her and because she played for the king in the Hawaiian Islands he let her wear his feather cape and she stayed in Hawaii while her husband went north for the winter but they, the companies wouldn't let the wives go north they had to stay in Hawaii. She could navigate as well as her husband. I imagine it must have been her husband who taught her on board. She conducted a, a Sunday service, and she had her organ, so she played had music for the people on board. And they used to, well, she called it, now let's see, they stood off and on. That's the way she worded it, stood off and on for the Sunday service. Uh, they didn't steam ahead and continue. They, they they just, well, as near as I can figure in thinking about it, they must have sort of anchored mm -hmm. so many miles offshore for her Sunday service. And so do you remember her well? Did you know her? Oh, well? yes. Yes, she didn't die till I was, oh, between 20 and 30, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. Did people think that she was special because she'd been on the whale ship, people in the vineyard? Oh, I don't think so, because other men, other captains' wives were doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you have quite a few things that she brought back on her journeys. Well, that teapot and so forth, that was her first set of dishes, and she took them with her around Cape Horn. And then there's the teapot, sugar bowl and cream pitcher, and two, three little cup saucers. Oh, and the red tray up there is something else that she brought home. And that chair over there is something else that was hers, that spindle-back chair. She went down along the coast of South America and went to Robinson Crusoe's cave, uh, Aunt Lucy did, and uh, she got ferns and things from the cave, and she brought them home. But her daughter-in-law didn't like all this mess. She called it junk. Every time Aunt Lucy came down to see my mother, Maud threw out everything that she thought she could get dispose of. She'd stay two weeks or three weeks or whatever she wanted to, and then she'd go back. But she always found that her daughter-in-law, Maud, had thrown out some of her things when she wasn't there.